what's happening everybody Tim Kreitz here Tim Kreitz Adventures thanks for tuning in once again today Cliff and I are just south of McCamey Texas we're going out to view an oddity for this part of Texas this part of the country they've built a 1.2 million solar panel solar farm out here we're gonna go check it out I'm gonna talk a little bit about so-called green energy and just take you on a little adventure. You guys, stick around, we'll be right back. If you've been watching the channel for any appreciable length of time, you'll remember that we've been to McCamey before. Britt and I came here to McCamey. It's in the uh, birthplace of a murderer episode. We talked to a couple of people in a restaurant where we stopped and they were guys who were here working from California. They were from San Bernardino and they were working on this solar array, this solar farm at the time. This has been, I guess, almost two years ago that we were out here last. Anyway, the array is complete. It's generating power, apparently. It's just kind of doing its thing, and I was astounded at just how freaking big it is. It's on over a thousand acres, and it's over a million solar panels. So we just had to come out and see it, just as an object of curiosity, if nothing else. So this is a massive boondoggle is what this is. <laughs> I, I mean, I can't see it as anything other than a boondoggle. Look at how many acres this takes. It costs two to four times as much as a natural gas fired plant, which is extremely clean. It's undependable because the sun doesn't always shine out here. In fact, this area gets a lot of rain and a lot of severe weather. It's just, it's an undependable, expensive way to generate electricity. But it's green. Yeah. I don't think it's really green energy so much as it is just politically correct energy. So how many, uh, what kind of mining operation does it take to get the materials to manufacture solar panels? Yeah, it's, there is some invasiveness there. I gotta admit though, man, even though this is really a stupid way to produce energy in Texas at this point, I am kind of fascinated with it. Like it does have sort of a cool factor. I can't figure out if it's an homage to man's abilities or a uh, monument to his arrogance. There's something, I don't know, there's something kind of magical about a device that can turn sunlight into electricity. Yeah. Like, like, yeah, maybe it is the future, you know? Or, and here's another thing to be fair about it, it could lead to other technologies in other industries. It's going to have to get a lot more efficient. It's going to be our future. Yeah, it's not efficient. And it's the whole world is going to be, if the whole world is covered in solar panels, I don't think it'd still be enough. Exactly. Yeah. 
it's not efficient and it's not cheap but uh, who knows what may come of it in future generations <laughs> all right let's go to McCain.